Hi. Hi. Yeah. And I'm Dimushka Nagoda. What's your full name? Uh, my name is Ratnagiri Nagoda. I'm from Japan. Can I see your ID? Yes, yeah, sure. And okay. Yeah. Um, what's your full name? Now then, uh, how can I call you? Uh, you can just call me Jackie. Or Jackie. Yeah, it's okay. Yes, I am. Uh, where are you from? Uh, actually, I was born in Hanley, so that's my hometown. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I, I've been to school in Hanley for a while. But uh, my parents had to move because of the job and uh, for other reasons. Uh, I'm actually married now, so I live with my husband in Ghana, and I have a baby as well. So, yeah. And do you work or study? Well, I work. I'm working uh, actually, so uh, I work for a uh, software company, a uh, telecom mobile uh, software company. Uh, it's Wavenet International. Um, it's actually down in Vauxhall Street in Kalam too. Uh, I work as a technical writer, and uh, my job duties uh, actually involve uh, writing manuals and guides and uh, various other documentation uh, relevant to uh, the applications that uh, actually develop. Um, so uh, uh, I, I have to basically analyze uh, each application or software and uh, uh, produce uh, or develop uh, guides and manuals for various different uh, audiences like administrators, user guides, end users and uh, customers and so, so on. So, yeah. And do you like mathematics? I was never a big fan <laughs> about, uh, about mathematics when I was a kid. But um, I used to always fall back at maths, and um, I had a, uh, to be honest, I had a really hard time <laughs> picking up on maths, and I didn't get good grade either for my examination. But I passed. I mean, so I'm happy that I passed. But my teachers also tried hard to help me out, and even my father, uh, he's a teacher, but even he tried hard to help me understand uh, the concept of mathematics. But no, nothing ever worked. But then again, um, it's surprising because <laughs> I actually followed uh, IT for my high studies, and that involved uh, a certain amount of mathematics. Um, surprisingly, I actually got all high distinctions and you know, good grades. So I was uh, amazed about you know how I have been actually did. But so what I think is like even though. Um, you think you can't do it if you really put yourself into it. Um, you can actually achieve a lot of things, and I think math. Uh, today, I think math is very uh, mathematics are very important uh, to people uh, in the, even in the day to day life. So, and I wish I could have you know thought like that when I was a kid. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 And do you like eating vegetables and fruits? <sighs> yep. Lots and lots of them. <laughs> Why do you like you? Um, uh, sorry, why, 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 why do I like to eat fruits? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think they make my skin look nice as well, <laughs> from what I've heard. Um, uh, fruits are actually good for you because they boost your immunity and they actually prevent you from getting a lot of sickness. Like if you have an orange juice or eat an orange, uh, a day, uh, on a daily basis at least, you get all the, you get the natural source of vitamin C out of it, which actually keeps you away from uh, catching cold and flu and whatnot. Um, um, and there are I think various other fruits like strawberries and kiwi fruit that actually help asthma patients. Uh, they actually relieve and help those people uh, when it comes to their respiratory problems. So um, uh, vegetables, yeah. On the other hand, uh, vegetables like uh, carrots and uh, pumpkin, they're yellow vegetables. So they give you all the vitamin A that you need for your good eyesight. And um, certain other vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, full of proteins. So it's yeah, they're all good for you, so I like vegetables. <laughs> and because I like people, another question is what vegetables and fruits do you like the most? Uh, I like eating raw carrots, <laughs> they're very tasty. And I like potatoes and uh, fruits, yeah, I love uh, kiwi fruit, strawberry, uh, mangoes are uh, like my favorite. Uh, even when I was pregnant, I had a lot of mangoes and uh, yeah, and not forgetting papaya. Um, even today, I give my kid a lot of papaya. I, I, I give a lot of fruits and vegetables, so yeah, this is something that I like. Okay, and um, I like to ask about, uh, about music. And you prefer to listen to 
than a recording song. Um, both. I mean, I would love, I, I, I really enjoy going out for a concert and uh, seeing my favorite musicians or singers live. You know, it's, it's a really good experience. And uh, well, there's a difference, I guess, listening to recorded and live music because recorded is more refined and uh, you would, uh, you know, it's more uh, listed, audible or, and it's more, more refined. Than so. But a live concert, uh, it, it's live. I mean, and uh, uh, you know, you, you won't have much of the, you know, the edit editing and all that uh, if it was a live uh, concert. But then again, it's fun because uh, you're you're out there and you can witness uh, the person. Uh, I mean, witness the singer or the uh, performer uh, in real time or uh, live. But uh, I mean, I, I don't mind. I'm not fussy. I I, I like listening. I, I like music, so uh, yeah. Yeah, and what are the differences between the two in your mind? So, sorry, yeah, the recording and the live music. Say you talk about that too. What's the difference? How do you see the difference? Um, yeah, again, as I said, uh, I think uh, uh, live music, uh, you, uh, it's the person singing live. So, as I said, uh, it won't be filtered, uh, won't be find or edit it, it you hear that person's natural voice coming out um, but recorded sometimes they might uh, involve a little bit of synthetic uh, sounds here and there there will be a lot of editing and uh, I think when you're singing live it's real time but recording you can at least pause and fix any problems fix any errors and you can uh, re-record it uh, you know even five times or ten times until you get it uh, Correct. I mean, I mean, it's perfect. But um, uh, live is live. I mean, you hear it uh, as it is, and uh, so I think that's the, uh, that's probably the uh, the difference between the types so between live and uh, recorded music. Yeah, that's okay. Good. And um, this is the second part of the speaking test, and we have one minute to prepare for the your topic. Is this your topic? Is this your topic? And you have a minute for the stage. Uh, to be a mother 
because not every woman is uh, lucky these days to you know um, have a baby. So uh, having a child is actually a blessing, and uh, no matter what religion you uh, observe, I think you have to thank the gods, whoever that you worship, uh, that you actually chosen to be a mother and uh, to uh, give birth to a child, uh, which is an amazing feeling. And I think motherhood is probably, um, to me, I think it's the best job in the world, uh, with the best pay, uh, because it, you're paid back with love and uh, affection and uh, a lot of surprises though here and there, uh, sleepless nights, uh, you're tired and you're restless and you, you can't have your meals on time but it's, it's, it's a great responsibility, I mean uh, it, it's a huge commitment that you have to make in your life and I think um, you need to be prepared as well uh, to become a mother, you can't, uh, you, you probably do not just uh, uh, plan to have a kid just for the sake of having a kid, you have to be very prepared and um, you have to plan out everything, you have to think, okay, I'm going to have to be making so many sacrifices. Um, I won't be able to party like I used to, you know, go out with friends and do all that. So it's a huge sacrifice, it's a commitment. But at the end of the day, um, you, I'm, I'm happy and I'm really glad that uh, I was able to see her face, uh, her smile. And uh, I thank God every day for giving me, for, for choosing me to be in the of uh, what I believe in uh, that God is the creator of all uh, living things on earth so um, I'm so happy that I was chosen uh, to bring forth uh, God's most uh, precious creation I guess um, so yeah uh, motherhood is a great uh, thing okay now I'd like to go to follow up questions and tell me how you organize your study time Actually, uh, when it comes to studying time, uh, I know that most people uh, wake up early in the morning, sometimes like 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock and um, they find it easier to wake up early in the morning and study, but I, I'm never an early riser. I mean, I couldn't make up my mind to wake up, wake up that early in the morning and you know, sit with books, um, not my cup of tea actually. <laughs> um, but I don't like studying till late in the night either, I mean, because I, to be honest, I tend to fall asleep and uh, my probably the preferred time that uh, I mean when I used to study I used to somehow uh, make time during the daytime when I come out to school I spend at least uh, two to three hours until uh, around five o'clock or six o'clock uh, for my studies so um, uh, I, 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 I mean I can't say that I actually used to plan my time but um, whenever I feel like studying, sometimes I do study except yeah in the nights and early mornings. But um, uh, it depends on the person, I guess. Um, I mean, if you like to get up early in the morning, yeah, you can rise early and then you can do your studies early in the morning. But uh, if you're a late night person, then yeah, you can probably go until 11, 12, or even 5 a.m. But um, neither of these uh, fit my criteria because. Um, I prefer to study during the day. So, uh, uh, what do you think is uh, important is uh, important in achieving happiness? Uh, um, so, what I feel is people should actually be happy no matter what problems they have in life, uh, because being miserable or sad is going to actually make things worse. I mean, okay, if, if for example, if you can't afford something or if you have financial problems, I mean. Uh, you can actually learn to live with what you have and uh, just um, uh, uh, live with whatever you've got uh, instead of uh, I think some people uh, like feel sad or unhappy because maybe they can't uh, achieve something they look at someone else and they think oh this person's got this uh, you know he's a director he has lots of money and he's uh, financially stable but why am I not uh, so I think those that's those are probably a few reasons why people today are actually um, more sad than ha happy or content in their lives. Um, so yeah, I think happiness is uh, pretty important uh, to a person. So. Okay, and uh, how do Sri Lanka celebrate some happy days? Um, um, I think that uh, uh, Sri Lanka actually uh, 
at Sri Lanka we have uh, various uh, cultural events uh, in, in the year like uh, for example the year starts with the Tamil Pongal festival so the Tamil people actually uh, celebrate this uh, very extravagantly and uh, they cook different uh, meals and um, they uh, decorate their house with uh, uh, they use this sort of coloured coconut uh, to uh, uh, do uh, uh, creative arts like pa uh, uh, paintings, like sort of drawings on, on the floor uh, in, in, in the gardens, uh, which looks really beautiful and their houses are all decorated. And also the Sikhari is um, uh, people mainly, they celebrate this in this new year, so which actually uh, uh, marks the, uh, actually it's like celebrating uh, har harvest time. So where they actually um, harvest their crops and then um, offer some to the gods, and uh, it's actually uh, worshiping the sun actually. So it's where it's where the sun actually goes from one house to uh, uh, to another to the, uh, to the to another house uh, according to the planetary system. But um, yeah, uh, kids and adults in common. I mean, uh, they really enjoy seeing this event because you get. Uh, they prepare different um, sweet meats and then there's the kiribat and all these uh, a lot of uh, these rituals happen uh, during auspicious times so even eating uh, having, having your meals uh, uh, bathing and you know uh, uh, taking up work uh, all of these things happen in uh, auspicious times and then uh, they go on to temple and uh, worship their gods and uh, 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 do all that but uh, again in December comes Christmas, so again very extravagant, I must say. Uh, people are very busy shopping, and um, uh, they and when it comes to Christmas masks, uh, they're very stylish. They dress very uh, stylishly, and they spend lavishly on uh, uh, preparing uh, lots of uh, sweets and uh, Christmas lunch and Christmas cake. Uh, I think it's uh, the most famous because uh, it, it's actually. A collective effort. The whole family gets involved in when uh, during uh, the time that the Christmas cake is made. You know, from adding the ingredients to uh, stirring up the cake. So it's it's a huge uh, it's a huge process as well. And uh, everyone's gathered around and everyone's having fun while it all happens. So um, we have a good Christmas lunch and we actually exchange gifts. So everybody's happy and. Um, yeah, so th th these are some of the events that actually people in Sri Lanka um, they celebrate, uh, and uh, during these times uh, they are all happy and they all they all united, and it's very peaceful and um, people forget their uh, anger and their sorrows and everything, and they enjoy uh, all these events enjoyed as the, as one uh, family or so. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, this is the end of your speaking test. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.